Yo, still Mills, what's the deal, man? Yo, peep game, man. Um, we got to talk about this young phenom and Shakur Stevenson, man. Um, first off, I, I want to say, you know, kudos to motherfucking Jamel Herring. Dude was a soldier, man. Um, he was a soldier, man. He um, he took the fight. Didn't have to. He took it. And I think he knew. I knew I think he knew deep in his heart it was an uphill battle, man. But you know, when you a soldier, you never you never count yourself out. So I'm sure losing was never in his repertoire. But I'm sure he had that feeling. He know he knew he knew that he was the underdog going into this fight, despite him being a champion. He knew that. Nonetheless, he still took the fight, man. So kudos to him. Um the um He just didn't, he could not execute the game plan, game plan properly, man. Um, Shakur just came out fast, came out sharp, he came out active, you know. Defense wasn't like, the, um, it wasn't, it wasn't the primary focal point for him. He came out, was really offensive minded, really active, you know, through, he had his jab going early. And even early on, you just seen the speed advantage between the two of them the clear glaring speed advantage man and just how uncomfortable Jamel was in there man even like you got to think man when somebody knows that they can't do something better than another and they're still trying to do what it is that they're not as good as their opponent when they're still trying to do what it is that their opponent is better than them at because they can't get in there and execute their game plan that shows a level of you know aggravation and uncomfort Jamel knew he had to go in there and bang and brawl with this little nigga if he wanted to have success. He knew that. He most definitely knew that. And um, he just couldn't, he couldn't do it, man. Um, he couldn't do it. Out the gate, man, um, Shakur is hooking off the jab. He's, he's leading with the hook. It's just everything that he's throwing is landing early early by the third round you like oh man this is getting ugly this is getting ugly man and that's just what it was like pro defense wasn't the primary focus you know focal point for him man and he's just really looking like yo this kid he's just really look, looking incredible in there looking sharp in there and around about i want to say the fifth round you start to see jamel pick up some sort of a he started making the necessarily the necessary adjustments he started getting in on the inside and what he really was doing that was that was helping him was his jab and it wasn't because he it, he wasn't even jabbing at his head he just he got in the rhythm he started jabbing at his chest and jabbing you know stabbing him in the gut with the jab and that bothered Shakur in that one round even though you can say that Shakur still won that round but if it, if it, it visibly had an effect like oh I'm not saying and you know he's bouncing a little bit more he's a little bit more on his toes not from the outside but just coming in he just had a rhythm going to him and he just had a you know a demeanor and a and a level of confidence to him where he was stepping to him. And he had success. In that one round, even though you can say he won that round, you can also I will say it's a swing round. I will say it's a swing round. And then he did better in the sixth round. And you can still consider that a swing round. It's like every but the every time Shakur would get back active, he would go inactive completely inactive and he'd get back to that because it was like he was scared to get hit he was scared to get hit and that's the like you know he would be back on the outside doing all the posturing and faints like a slickster you know doing all the you know all that shit to, you know with his hands you know inviting somebody in so you can make a miss and make him pay and he it just wasn't it just wasn't going so good for him man because whatever shot Shakur threw he landed practically he, he landed and He's, uh, I'm just like, yo, this is, this, this, this kid is really putting on a show right now. You know, you seen the, the level of frustration with Jamel. I mean, even like in the, in like the fifth and the sixth round, I'm thinking, man, just, just hit. And now granted, it's easy to say that when you're on the outside sitting in, we can talk what he needs to do from the couch. We can talk that shit. We can talk that man, get in there, do this, do that, do this, do that. We can talk that shit because we're not in the fight. 
but it's a different story when you're in there and you what it is that you're trying to do that the people on the couch may be telling you to do you're trying to do that but your opponent isn't allowing you to do it it isn't allowed he isn't allowing you to do it and that's 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 how that's how i was looking man he was just he looked incredible in there man um he was hitting him in the body hitting him in the arm in the fifth and the sixth round i seen him hit him in like the thigh he was doing what he needed to just get in there and just beat him up he was doing that in that in those two rounds and then after that he was back on the outside fighting like the you know trying to fight off of the back foot and you know counter punch i'm like you, you're not gonna beat him like this i did kind of want to see jamel win because i just i'm always going the underdog and just I, I don't know i just respect his demeanor a lot more he seems to be like a real down to earth humble brother and I'm, Shakur is that as well you dig but I just I just didn't like how I just I, I didn't like the um the the, the 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 you know the angle that he took in the presser man he ain't got no heart he ain't this he ain't that like you know just like talking down to dude talking down like you know he ain't seen his mans get blown up you know by way of an IED or some wild shit like that he didn't get that like he was saying that to him and I'm like you can't talk that shit to him Because you know he's been through it all I didn't like that from Shakur I did not like that I did not like that I, I didn't like that at all I thought that was pretty tasteless Like how you gonna do that bro Like you can sell a fight Without all that bullshit and He was on that bullshit I was like man I, I, So I did I, I did kind of want to see Shakur lose I'm not even going for it I did I did want to see him lose, but I did. I didn't even do a prediction video on it. I, I was, I'm like, I can see, you know, when you go, when you base their last two fights, you go off of their last two fights. Shakur was a lot more gun shy on the offensive end, and Jamel scored a knockout in his last fight. But you know, a pretty, you know, a, you know, a, 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 an established lightweight or a, a, a featherweight, junior lightweight, whatever you want to call. I don't even know. I just say 130. I don't start knowing the actual names of the divisions until. You get to lightweight that going on 135, but um Yeah, he you know both you know, but if you gotta choose between the two of them, Jamel, you know, he had a more impressive win in their last fight before last night. And just the level of adversity he faced in that fight, getting cut over the eye. You know, he received a gash over the eye, was bleeding into his eye into his eye for him to still go out there and get that now. I'm like, yo, that's adversity right there. Like that's what's up. That's what's up. That's a, that's a, that just displays a level of toughness within somebody. So I was going off for of that, and Shakur just went in there and just completely contradicted everything that everybody thought about. Him. But you know, I didn't make a video. I, I, I had a few conversations on Facebook, I, I, and I said I'm, I would edge um, Shakur. I would edge Shakur in this fight, but I do see both of them have. You know, they they have. I don't like saying deficiencies, but they both had things that that could be exploited by the other fighter. I thought Shakur Stevenson could be, you know, him just being so defensively minded could be exploited a little bit by the likes of a Jamel Herring. I thought that he would do that. I thought he would go out there and try and beat up his body and know better than to actually land, you know, try, or throw those big shots to try to land from the outside. And that's what he did. And as we saw, it was he had he was hitting air. He was hitting air. He's missing big from the outside. I'm like, damn, dude. You're not gonna hit him with that. The one two, the one two, he's not landing the one. I'm like, yo, bro, you're not gonna hit him with that. You're not gonna hit him with that. And he went back to doing, I'm like, god damn it. I'm like, this shit is about to be a wrap. I didn't expect a stoppage. I know that much. I did not expect a stoppage, man. Shakur is looking like he's growing, like he, he's, he's growing into his grown man body. He's, he's developing that grown man strength. He's developing that grown man strength. He, even in the clinch, man, where you wanted Jamel Herring to be, because you would think he's just naturally the bigger man. He's taller. He's a little bit more beefier, and he's kind of like deboing this nigga in the clinch. Like none of that shit was expected. We just we we expected 
Shakur, if he was gonna be, if he was gonna, if he was gonna let his hands go, he would be doing it off of counters. He'd be making a miss and making him pay. We didn't expect him to be first, and we did not expect him to hold his ground in the clinch. That was like a shocker. Like, yo, this kid is really. We all knew he just he's a, he's he's. By the time he hits his late twenties, we can, I can only imagine what that dude is gonna be like defensively. Cause right now he's a wizard. It's hard. To have, I was I watched the he threw like a three punch combination, two or three punch combination. He, it's just his upper body. He's just real good with his upper body movement, man. He stepped back off of a fucking uppercut, then got it, then you know weaved the hook. Like God damn, like this kid is a spectacle, man. He's really a special, special, special talent. Really a special, special talent. I was not expecting that stoppage, but he just started pouring it on. I'm talking four and five punch combinations, man. Um, I'm like, yo, this kid is incredible. Look at this dude. He just really, he just really impressed me last night, man. I've always been impressed with him. Just, you know, the, just from his defensive capabilities, man. I just to stay poised in the pocket and be in range to get hit. I don't think people understand how 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 much of a skill that requires. Just stay poised in the pocket and slip and not get hit at all. Like I have not seen him face adversity. I thought Jamel would be that. Somewhat, somewhat, at a championship level, I thought he would be, give him some sort of resistance, and he was not able to do it. I'm like, man, this this uh, this kid is really special, dude. Um, we do not, we don't need to wait on no Oscar Valdez versus Shakur Stevenson fight. We need that next year. We need that next year by spring. If they want to both get a, a, a fight in, Oscar honored a mandatory. Shakur, if he wants to honor a mandatory, bet that. Do that shit. We should be getting that fight by next summer. That fight does not need to be built no more than what it already is, man. Look at who was out. Kanye West is out. Michael B. Jordan is out at that fight in Atlanta. Atlanta is not a fight hub. And the stars came out and watched that fight, man. They packed the house. We do not need to wait. For Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez fight, and I'm, I think it is it's gonna be a lot tougher than what Jamel was able to give him because I, I think he, I think there, I, I never, uh, I've always rated Oscar Valdez as far as the champions went. I always rated him as the best champion because I, I mean just the performance that he put on against Miguel Bracho. I, I just I always I, I thought he was the best champion, man. He really gave us he gave us, you know, a, 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 a even balance of offense and defense. I didn't even really watch his last fight, honestly, man. I mean the the cheating allegation not allegations, but him popping dirty just really kinda it turned me off to wanting to watch that fight. But going off of the Miguel Bachelt fight, just watching the upper body movement, just watching the fucking the, the 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 lateral movement, the setting traps, the switch hitting. I thought he was the best in the division off of that fight, and he he went on to score the knockout of the year in a fight that he was the underdog in. On some Alexander Povetkin shit, man. I'm just, I'm watching this dude, and I'm just seeing I'm seeing the lateral movement. I'm just seeing everything. I'm like, yo, this kid is the goods, man. He's in just the de the defense is what he he's never looked like that on the on the defensive end. He never looked like that on the defensive end, man. How he was moving, how he was making him miss, how he punished him to knock him out, and just how he had Miguel Bertel reaching and making an egregious mistake and putting your chin past your kneecap because he was so frustrated with not being able to hit this dude. Like the switch hitting, you know, just the pot shotting with the jab, you know what I'm saying? Pot shotting him from the southpaw stance. Pot shotting him from the court, from the orthodox conventional stance. I'm just like, man, this dude is just giving this dude a boxing lesson and went on to knock him out. So I rated him as the baddest in the division. After last night, man, um, I don't see how you can't have Shakur Stevenson as the baddest man in the division. And maybe it's premature to say that, man, but how that kid looked last night. Dude, 
I'm not going to jump out the window and say he's going to be able to beat the likes of a Devin Haney. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm not actually going to do that at all. So I think Jorge Linares is better than um, Jamel Herring. So I'd be damned if I just jump out the window and say he, you know, he'll beat Devin Haney ass. I don't know about all that. Yeah, I'm like, y'all going to stop playing with Devin Haney. Like, he don't get busy. Devin Haney or uh, 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 Jorge Linares is a lot more imminent threat than Jamel Herring is. So I'm, I'm not doing that. But I, I wouldn't, I, um, I, I won't, I, I won't, I won't talk that shit like he needs to move up to 35 and get busy up there because of what he did to Jamel Herring. He still needs to do work at with the Colberts and the Tevin Farmers and um, 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 uh, 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 Oscar Valdez and you know all them cats down there. Sosa, all all of, all of those cats down there, man. He needs to get down there and get busy, or stay down there and get busy. <laughs> he needs to most definitely stay down there and get busy. Me, Miguel Burchell. So. Um, I'm not going to say until I see him go in there with like the likes of Oscar Valdez. If he lines it up with Oscar Valdez and looks in this, looks the same way he looked last night, I would say he's ready for 35. <laughs> if I was because they're bigger punches and they're, you know, they're bigger punches up there at 35. They're going to be harder to deal with. It's more, it's more to worry about at 35. So I'm going to, I would I'm a pump my, pump my brakes. I'm not gonna say yet. I'm not gonna say he need, he's ready for 35 yet. I'm not gonna say that just yet. But he's most definitely ready for Oscar Valdez, and I'm at, I'm going with I'm I'd have to go with uh, Shakur Stevenson. I don't I don't think he'd fight Jamel Heron the same way he fought Oscar Valdez, because Oscar Valdez is a, is a lot more dangerous than uh, Jamel. I think he he'd go back to defense first. I think he'd go back to defense first, but he'd still be a. Uh, he, I think he's comfortable. I think he's a lot more comfortable on the offensive end now that he's dethroned the champion. So I think he'd be a lot more comfortable fighting on, you know, getting off first and setting up combinations and mixing up his attack. You'll see a combination of him counter punching, and you'll see a counter punch. You'll see a combination of him counter punching and being first against the likes of an Oscar Valdez. I don't see him being, I don't see him being offensive like that, like he was last night against the Oscar Valdez, man. But nonetheless, we do not need to wait past next summer for that fight. That fight needs to happen by then, late spring, early summer, or j just summer in general. But don't wait on that fight, man. So let me know what y'all think, man. Like and subscribe, yo. I'm going to Walmart, man. I'm out. Peace.